Hey guys, Kid Guru here. First off, you see there's a new ankle. Uh, my Communicate STX camera is no longer over here. <laughs> so it's actually it's actually over there. I mean, it's no longer over there. It's now over here. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, the camera, I decided to change them around because one, I'll get the better quality off the AF over there facing down on me and I can pan it around if I want to manually using the software. Like I said, you get better quality. The audio settings, I can use that mic. I can use this mic, or I can use that mic. Right now, I'm using this mic over here. I have another mic down here, and I have a headset over there if I needed to. So I have a lot of audio options also. But this way, you get a wide variety in my room. This one's actually really cool, and I can pan all around my room. But the only thing is, there's a TV blocking the left view of the camera. But anyway, hope you guys like the view. Uh, give me your feedback on it. Email me or you know comment. Uh, uh, on the poll and Ustream, about 80% of the chat room pretty much, you know, love that view. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, I'm probably gonna keep this and probably just keep vlogging off this view, but yeah, I, I don't know, sometimes I may vlog off that, who knows. Anyways, I got a pretty big topic today, pretty heavy, uh, uh, pretty geekish actually. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's a tech topic basically, but then again it's an OS war between, you know, M Microsoft's OS's, and that's between itself, from XP versus its own prior release of Vista versus uh, OS X and versus Linux. Now, you know, first off I'm going to start off with XP and Vista, that's what we're mainly surrounding, you know, versus its own, you know, prior releases. Now, are you ready to switch onto Vista if you haven't already? Uh, you know, do you want to migrate from XP onto the whole new gener uh, the whole new operating system of Vista? Or, you know, I have my I have Vista running here, I have XP running there, I don't, I haven't moved pretty much, I I run them both simultaneously, and I also run Ubuntu Linux. So OS OS 10, I've tried it. I haven't, you know, ran it enough to say, you know, I've mastered it or any of that sort. But uh, you know, that's still something coming up. But is XP gonna be the right now? You know, Vista has flopped. You know, it, from the release, they started with Longhorn. Like I always say, the Longhorn project. And a lot of people say Longhorn was Vista. You have to realize that. Microsoft in development, when they when OS 10 was releasing Leopard and they were releasing Longhorn, they they were working on Longhorn for I believe is it four years, four years producing an operating system, guys, and that's you know they run it all through DL, you know DLL files, they run it through all the registry and Lep, uh, Longhorn actually had a great GUI, it was really had cool effects, done you know cool effects, and you know Leopard released and then I guess Microsoft drew back, they dropped four years of work on an operating system, cut everything down from what it had, and, you know, basically turned it all to Aero, you know, A-E-R-O, Vista's Aero, and, you know, slimmed down the GUI, and took, like I like to say, XP with a paint job, they, you know, they they took the core of XP and, you know, gave it a new design and added new features, like, well, all, pretty much all the main features that they added that were, like, noticeable, uh, you got your sidebar, obviously, you got your gadget in the sidebar, you got Flip 3D, <laughs> And what else here? You got speech recognition. I have my notes right here. Speech recognition. Uh, what else is? And then arrow. You know, four things that come to mind. Uh, but you know, what? Uh, a lot of people, you know, from from migrating to Vista after they did some upgraded right away to Vista. Some waited. Some still s decided to stay with XP because Vista had a, lo a lot of uh, you know flaws right when it was released. A lot of people, you know, had a lot of errors, hated UAC, uh, you know, had blue screens of death all over the place, and how, but mainly surrounding also hardware issues. A lot of people had incompatible printers, incompatible, you know, a lot of things. Now, for the average user, you know, if, uh, if you're just an average user, you know, you, you check your mail, you go in your, you know, MySpace on a web surf, you, you go around, you know, you're, you're not, you know, you're not going to see these problems every, you know, daily, and you put some photos on your computer. Now, if you're somebody like, you know, renders videos all the time, you know, does pro Window Movie Maker projects, stuff like that, do Sony Vegas, you know, uh, you stream 20, you know, you stream daily, you do, like, intense web surfing, like, I mean, like, intense as in, like, six tabs uh, per browser, even, like, maybe even in all in one browser, you know, and in the back you've run other programs, then, you know, you do tend to experience them, and uh, lately, yes, Vista, re, uh, Vista released SP1, Service Pack 1. Service Pack is basically a, when they when the company, Microsoft, or whatever OS, or whatever the operating system's main 
you know, manufacturers of the OS uh, release a series of patches, fixes, and sometimes even new features, and uh, you know, op new options or you know, tweak uh, options are already made into their uh, operating system. And SP1, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, it's going to be really good, and that's what I thought. I I honestly thought that with Service Pack 1 being released, uh, I was you know expecting Vista to you know get performance boosts. You know, less errors. Uh, one thing I did accomplish, though, that I, I was glad to check off my list was it was less naggy on UAC. I think it was like one out. Of, now it used to be like four out of four would ask you. Now it's only like one out of four, so they reduced it by three. Out of you know, on the programs it would ask you to you know uh, allow it or cancel. You know, but um, by far it's been disappointment. Uh, I I installed SP1. And they even tell you right on the site that there's going to be driver issues. You're going to have driver issues right off the bat. I mean, if you're going to do that, I would just say, you know, release SP1 a little bit later and fix those driver issues as much as you can. I haven't installed the patches yet, which I still have to do. I don't even know if they're going to help. But if I was using a laptop in my Alps driver, I believe it's called, or something like that, the one that, you know, when you scroll on the touchpad by touching the sides, you know, t you know uh, all the features your touchpad brings, that driver crashes like every time. Every honestly, every time, and I have to shut down the computer or restart it for the driver to restart itself. And I can't scroll after manually. Like I, I can use touchpad. I can right click, left click, but I have to have to go in the sidebar and you know do all that. It's, I can't you know scroll with the touchpad. I have to go to the sidebar and drag it down. That gets annoying, especially if you're using a touchpad. And and people had problems with the graphics card, especially Nvidia. You know, there's a whole bunch of graphic card issues. Uh, you know, and for Vista, a lot of people said that, you know, especially Chris Perillo, all those, you know, power users out there said it, it feels like it's still in beta, you know, it's not a core OS yet. And, you know, uh, a lot of the feedback from the community got, and even Microsoft, even Microsoft Workers, PC Magazine, all, all those, you know, PC fanatics even said that Vista was a huge, huge, huge failure on Microsoft's part now, whether they go all the way to SP3 or they, you know, drop it and go to a whole new S, but SP1 was a huge success. Hopefully SP2 in the years coming will be a, you know, a, a huge step forward. SP2 for XP was, so we have to see how that plays out for Vista. Now, there, that brings to topics like, well, in the future, will Linux roll in? Will, you know, will li Linux become a, a more hum a humane oper operating system for people out there, you know, now it's more of a, you know, a little bit geekier one, harder to install, but you do get a solid, more, a more solid kernel built on Unix, you get, you know, a safer operating system, you get new features, a lot of graphical features also, it's, it's as close as you're going to get to OS X, uh, Ubuntu would be your best distro that you're going to get close to, you know, uh, if, rather than, you know, if you're Windows and you do all that weird Windows blind stuff and get an OS theme, no, Ubuntu, you know, actually has all those features. It's built on the same kernel that uh, OS X is based off of, and you know, that's Unix, so much safer. So, you know, we talked, it talked, uh, actually CNET had an article that talked about, you know, the Asus EEPC, EEEPC, how that's actually rolling in a lot of sales, and that's running the Linux distros. And a lot of stuff are starting to run more Linux-based distros. We've seen the, uh, what was it, the one OLPC, One Laptop Per Child program, they're running Linux distros, all that type of stuff is, you know, it's just going to take getting used to, you know, people when they migrate from OS 10, when you, you know, when you migrate from Windows to OS 10, there's going to be a learning curve, you know, and once, you know, in the future, when the learning curve, you know, is gone and, you know, users are adapted to that type of, you know, and when they're adapted to OS 10, most likely they'll get adapted to, you know, Linux, and we have to see how that'll play out against Windows' part. Now, like, Updates for OS 10, Leopard 10.52 was huge. You know, it had you had spaces, you had iChat updates, you had Time Machine was a huge success. You know, there's big features. You know, you can have like three features in, in a service pack, you know, or, or an update. But if they're huge, that's what's going to count. It doesn't, you know, if you have two features, if Vista, you know, just released all, you know, Flip 3D and Aero, and they made it huge, like huge updates, then you know it would have been okay to some users, but you know. Flip 3D is not really, I, I, I've I never used it ever since, I, I've used it like twice, that's it. Uh, so the question is, um, you know, are you going to move from XP to Vista? XP's already been, you know, revised and prolonged. Uh, they were supposed to stop manufacturing it back in January, you, you know, it's 
Will there be a third revision? Who knows? Uh, OS 10, you know, the market share for OS 10 and Leopard has just been rising. A lot of people have been migrating from Tiger. A lot of them people, you know, even migrated from Windows to Tiger, Windows to Leopard, or even Windows to Linux. You know, what, what's your story? What's your, uh, you know, what OS are you using right now? Would you mind, you know, would you want to move? Do you want to move? If so, why? Uh, you know, leave a video response if you could. Uh, following up to this video or comments also, on you can email me at kidgurucenter at gmail.com. Feel free to, uh, I, I love feedback, guys, and this is a huge, huge important topic, you know, concerning all the OSs and daily stuff. And you can see more topics on this. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, so what's your, you know, say in this? Uh, email me, comment it. Uh, if you could do a video response, I would love to I'll be sure to check that out. Anyways, guys, Kid Gear here, signing out, and thanks for watching.